situation I believe I believe No matter what The circumstances I believe Yes, I believe I stand on your word I stand on your promise I stand on your word I stand on your promise My soul says yes Welcome and once again you've tuned in to The Truth here on the Cross TV Network. I'm your host, Pastor Patricia Morrow. The Bible declares in John 8 and 32 that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And that's what we are declaring here in the word of God. Today, I have an awesome special treat for you. Amen. One of my dear friends in the gospel. Amen. Apostle Audrey Roberts. Come on, let's give her a hand. Amen. On today. Amen. We're going to allow her just to speak with you very briefly. And shortly after that, she's going to come with a very encouraging, inspirational message that will impact your life uh, and your situation and circumstances for today. But I just want her to say something to you uh, at this time. Amen. Here she is. Praise the Lord out there in TV land. We are glad to be in the presence of the Lord today. I'm glad to be here with Pastor Mauro. Amen. That this is a great opportunity for worship and praise deliverance ministry to be exposed. And I praise God today that this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. And we have to rejoice and be glad in it. God bless yes. you. God bless you. Thank you, Apostle. I guess she's going to say the good part for last. Amen. So with no further interdo, uh, no further delay, I would like to introduce and present to you Apostle Audrey Robertson's. Amen. Amen. Gotta go to the... Come on, let's give her a hand. Amen. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord today. We're glad to be here once again. I was saying earlier that the great opportunity to be in TV land with you today. I just want to bring a few words to you this afternoon to let you know that God is yet still on the throne. And I got a word for you today. Those that are out there trying to Make a decision what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. I want to let you know today that God is saying for you to pray. It is time to pray like never before. In this land, this time, in this hour, I'm going to go to the scripture at Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, which is a very known scripture, and the 14th verse. And it reads, if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The Lord is letting us know today that it is time to pray, saints of God. A lot of us are going through, Pastor, that uh, they don't know who to call on right about now. Yeah. But the scripture tells us that it's going to be in the last days that nations against nations, yeah. wars against wars. So earthquakes against earthquakes. There's going to be a lot of things that's going on. Yeah. And I want you to know it's time to pray. Yeah. And if you don't have a prayer life, it's time to seek God. Yeah. Your sins are forgiven when you are accepting Jesus Christ as your personal yeah. Savior. So I want you tonight to let you know that God is on the throne. Yes, God is. is answering prayer. Yeah. If I were not serving God today, that I could not 
fear and wouldn't look to the hills for which come in my help. But I know I'm standing here in this time and this hour that God is on the throne. God is working it out. God got a miracle with your name on it. God is answering your prayer. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord that gives us the victory. All you got to do is ask God to forgive you. Forgive you for your sins. Romans 10 and 9 said, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Man and woman of God, it shall come to pass that in this last days, he said, if my people, yeah. you know what I want to let you know today, that there are a lot of people not praying. Yeah. There's a lot of them talking. There's a lot of them doing what they want to do. But yeah. God is calling for those that are humble. Humble yourself before the Lord. Time to pray now as ever. Yeah. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Yeah. And and he pitted my every groan. Long as I live, trouble shall rise. But God said you got to haste unto his throne. Know he there for you. Know that when you pray, he shall answer. But you got to learn to trust him. That's the key. You got to learn to trust him. You got to learn to believe him. He said in his word that I love you. You got to love me back. John 3, 16 said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There's no other body but God. There is no other name that we shall serve but Jesus Christ. So we need to serve this Jesus Christ like never be. Before. No weapon that are formed against you shall prosper, even as your soul shall prosper. The word of God said, every tongue that rises up against you, ye shall be condemned. So I want to let you know that it is time for to get down on your knees. Some of us are praying in the bed. Some of us are praying laying out. Some of us praying on our knees. But I want to let you know today it's time to call on the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. While he may be found, when night come, no man can work. Already your land, God got a blessing with your name on it. God got a miracle. I see a woman out there right now sitting on the side of her bed crying out, saying, Lord, I need your help. Woman of God, I want to tell you today, call on the name of the Lord. He'll answer every one of your prayers. He's going to save your children. He's going to save your children. There's a woman out there right now got pain going down the side of her back. But I pray healing now in the name of Jesus. Touch right now, God, that woman that's sitting right there touch her heart she's hurting in her heart she's in tears right now God do it right now for her in the name of Jesus have your way Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus oh God we lift you up oh we bless you now God hallelujah Jesus there's another woman I see that she's sitting right there and she's fussing with her son, trying to get her son to get right, trying to get her son to go to school. But son, I hear God saying, turn from your wicked ways and follow him. You may not know God, but I'm here to help you to get to God. In the name of Jesus, oh, I bless you, God. 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 It's time now that we need to stop 
yes, doing what we do. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That is not of God. Yes, oh, we can preach a preach. Yes, oh, we can preach a preach. Yes, oh, we can preach a preach. Yes, but I want to let you know there's a lot of folks out there preaching. Yes, but is their sin is forgiven? Yes, there's a lot of ministers that's out there yes, ministering. Yes, but are you living holy? Yes, God is tired of playing the church. It's time to live holy. Holy and acceptable unto God. Oh, he is your reasonable service. Oh, I bless God today. I praise him today. That if you know who you are, you don't have to ask nobody who you are. I am a child of the king. Who is that king? That king of glory. Mighty in power. Oh, I praise you today, God. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. Somebody needs some mercy today. Oh, I bless the Lord. You got to know today that God said, I'm calling you. Yes, Lord. God said, I'm calling you in these last days. I'm calling one by one. I'm calling you right now to give up, no matter what's going on around you, woman of God. Men of God don't care what's around you today. God said, give up the world and follow him. Give up everything that you are doing. Give up your sin. Give up your drinking. Give up your smoking. Give up your lying. Give up your adultery. Give up your fornication. Follow Christ. Follow Christ. He's standing at the door knocking at you. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we love you today. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. All of them work together for the good of them that love the Lord. He said, humble yourself. Yes. 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 A lot of us don't want to humble ourselves. Yes. We're on our own genders. Yes. We grow, we do what we want to do. Yes. But God said, now it's time to humble yourself. Yes. Whatever he's calling you to do today, do it. Whatever the situation is, do it. God cannot answer prayer unless you humble yourself. We go to church every day and every hour. We're into prayer. We're into Bible study. We go to church on Sunday morning. And then we come back the same way that we came. God want to let you know that there should be a change in your life. When you go to church on Sunday morning and know about God. God should change your entire life. Fall in love with Jesus. If I were you today, fall in love with Jesus. Because if you have God, you won't sin against your father. You won't sin against God. You got to learn to know who you are. Oh, I bless the Lord today for this opportunity. Oh, God is so wonderful. He's so wonderful, Pastor. God is so wonderful. He's ready to change you. I love you, Lord. I heard you calling my name. Somebody tell him I love you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I glorify your name. I say yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your calling. Yes. Somebody hear somebody Somebody here, somebody here saying, I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. But God is saying, it's going on. I'm calling you. I'm pulling you in. No more complaining. No more complaining about what God has in store for you. You know what, saints of God? God allow us to go through what we got to go through to get your attention. Somebody need to hear God today. Somebody need to yield today. Somebody need to say yes. Oh, I praise you. Come on, somebody give God some praise. Oh, I praise you, Jesus. I praise you. 
Oh, I lift you up today. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. God bless you. I love you. And if you could, I wrote a book of hidden pain. And if you could get this book, I mean, it will help you in every relationship, families, everything that you need is in this book. And I guarantee you, you buy this book. It's only, it's, uh, it's on Amazon. And it's, uh, you go to Amazon and you ask for Audrey Tim's uh, Hidden Pain. God bless you. And I'm on my second book. God is blessing me to be where I am. God bless you. We love you. Pray for me. Amen. Come on, let's give God some glory in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's give God some glory in this place. Amen. Amen. I thank and praise God. Amen. For the apostle. Amen. I don't believe that we're in a greater time than we're in. Amen. For prayer. Amen. Prayer is the key that unlocks the doors to so many things. Amen. And I know there might be some of you out there that's watching that might just say, well, you know, how do I pray? I'm not talking to the ones that know how. Amen. You keep on praying. But for those of you that don't know how, amen, just talk to God. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> just talk to God in the simplest way. Form the simplest way that you know how. Amen. God is ready. He's there. He's more than able to do exceedingly abundantly all that you could ever ask or think. Yes. Matter of fact, you can't do it unless it's through him. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so God is a good God. He's worthy to Thank be you, praised. Jesus. Amen. We've come for no other reason today but to deliver, but to encourage, motivate, and inspire you to pray. There's a situation you just don't know what to do pray yes. there's a child that's gone astray on drugs just won't listen pray there's sickness in your body pray whatever the situation is prayer is the answer Thank amen Jesus. so so I encourage you I encourage you just to start off with maybe 10 minutes amen and when you look up you'll be talking to God amen one thing I realize amen is is chaos can't go into the throne room amen yes, yes, yes. anxiety can't go into the throne room yes, amen yes. anger can't go into the throne room not even your bills could go into the throne room yes, amen yes. because when we stretch out and lay before God all our needs is met. There's a peace in the presence of God that you can't get no other way. Amen. I'm not talking about that silence, that quiet time with just your TV off. I'm talking about having that peace, that assurance, that confidence in knowing that God will do exactly what what he said he will do. Amen. Make sure your prayer is according to the will of God. Yes. Because you can put him in his in remembrance of his word. Also, make sure there's no forgiveness mm -hmm. in your heart. Yes. Amen. We want answer to our prayers. Amen. And if there's forgiveness, ask God to help you to let go of those things, those situations, those people that are holding us in bondage. Amen. Yes. Because when we don't forgive, we only hold ourselves hostage. Yes. We hold ourselves in bondage. Yes. Amen. So, I believe, I don't hope, I believe that this program has been a blessing to you. And if it has, contact us. Our numbers are on the screen. Our names are on the screen. Amen. You can go to the Cross TV uh, network. Amen. And find us there as well. We really, really appreciate you tuning in. But share. If it's been a blessing to you, share it. Amen. Until next time, remember, it's the truth that shall make you free. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God a hand. Amen.